Hi, this is Sandra Sadowski of Medievalist.net, and I have the pleasure today of speaking to Anthea Boylston um, regarding the Towton Mass Grave Project. Um, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us today. Um, I <clears throat> just wanted to ask you a few questions about the project and uh, your work with, with the project. Um, you're part of the Mass Grave Project. Can you tell us a little bit about what it is? is and how many people are currently working on it with you? Basically it was an excavation in 1996 when a mass grave was discovered close to Tartan Hall which is about a mile from uh, the battlefield of, of Tartan. Uh, the builders who were working on the garage extension discovered a mass grave with 38 soldiers from uh, Battle of Tartan, which is one of the main battles of the Wars of the Roses, and the archaeologists were called in, uh, and I took a group of master students to excavate the site, along with a couple of people from West Yorkshire archaeology and North Yorkshire. Uh, the site excavation took about a week, and then we had a major project in the lab looking at the skeletons. Uh, there were 28 skulls on the 38 skeletons and all of them had major wounds from various medieval weapons including swords, clubs, maces. Yes. <coughs> I read that uh, they had been mutilated in excess of what was required to kill or, or injure someone, meaning their ears have been cut off, their noses have been cut off. And also I found it interesting that um, there was mention of the fact that their physique was more akin to a modern athlete than to a regular medieval person of the time. Um, that finding is fascinating. Can you tell us what that means? Yes, indeed. <clears throat> Some people had up to 14 injuries on their skull, uh, which suggests a degree of overkill, <laughs> as though they were being dispatched to see in a west. <clears throat> uh, so almost as though they were either prisoners who were being uh, killed, or they were killed in the route that followed the battle when they were fleeing towards York. Uh, and as you say, the, their physique was very powerful and some of them had injuries to the elbow which suggested they may have been archers because when you practice archery you start at a very young age right. and so you can injure an elbow just as the bone is fusing and we can tell that um, kind of thing. I also recall um, reading that some of them uh, showed injuries prior showing that they had uh, involvement in other battles or that they were I would say a warrior type. Um, so were they selected for, do you think they, was, they were singled out so to speak? Yes, one of the individuals had a, a cut to the jaw which was healed, uh, so that was from a previous battle mm -hmm. um, and we think that he, he was one of the older individuals so he could even have perhaps fought in the, uh, towards the end of the uh, Hundred Years' War. So. They may well have been targeted in that way that you describe. Um, and lastly, I just wanted to know what um, piqued your interest in medieval archaeology and, and this specific project? It was a question of being in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. Somebody phoned up one day and said that there was this uh, mass grave that had been found would we like to be involved? And I thought it was something good for the laboratory and particularly for training our students in excavation techniques in the 
excavating skeletons in particular. Uh, so it was it was pure luck, to be honest. Uh, and my boss had actually gone on sabbatical, and so uh, she wasn't around. And so I happened to be the person who took the call, and I was running the contract service at the time. Uh, and that was the way it, it sort of happened. Very lucky. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for spending time with us today. Thank you.